so today's Mingin and it's Wednesday which means it's leafing day if we haven't already started leafing on Tuesday after Monday pick um, Wednesday is the day to leaf and there is a huge amount because they've grown the twisters have dropped them there is so many leaves and like if it's a big pick tomorrow and tomorrow's pick spills into Friday it means you only have today and like a few hours on Friday to leave so today's gonna be sweaty so let's go okay so this is what it looks like when it's dropped and this is what it looks like when it's leafed so you can see the tomatoes and you can't see the tomatoes so huge drop at the top as you can see the over the wire which is no good so yep leaves have got to come off today <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh, I've got COVID. Okay, so this would be a good demonstration of leafed versus not leafed. So you cannot imagine trying to pick this. This is so hard. Um, I'm all tangled in. So what we do is we leaf it, and you can see them. It's amazing. So basically, plants grow, and our tomato plants will grow to about 40 foot by the end of the year. So we have to put them somewhere. We have to move them because they're growing because the ceiling isn't 40 foot. So what we do is we wrap strings around them, which is the twister's job. That's what everybody does at the top. And each week they twist round. As you can see, it's always in a clockwise fashion and they will lower it and move it along every week. And every plant has this done to it. But then obviously some weeks they grow more than others and you have to drop them more than others. So this week, this section has been dropped <laughs> a huge amount and this is going to be impossible to pick tomorrow well it's not impossible nothing's impossible but this is going to slow us down so bad so i'm um, just going to try and get in front and give them a lift in this section so you can see it a bit easier normally we aim to do the same drop every week so it's three leaves as a standard and they'll drop it sort of like a whole a whole one off the bobbin every week but sometimes it calls for more so i'm taking about six leaves off at the moment so it does slow us down but it's so much better Okay, it's breakfast. Say, so, dirt level, green level four, not too bad. I've had an itchy arm, but we're gonna get a bit greener than this today. All right, so it's my job. When these get full, you can see one's been placed in the middle there to pull them out and replace them with a fresh one. So I try and do this where possible, because obviously they're really heavy if anyone's pulling them out and it's like a long way to take in a new one. So if I can, I try to do that, but at the moment we're slightly understaffed. So I'm trying to juggle leaf in as well as, so we'll do that. Then get back on the trolley and then go all the way up. So it's just 
mega time wasted, so we try and avoid that at all costs. So when the bins are full, we pull them out with the forklift, pop them over here, and then we get the JCB, telescopic handler, and we pop them in this blue trailer here, and this blue trailer here, and there's another one for the old site. And then we take them down the back to, we've got like a bit of a, um, I don't know what you call it. It's not a pit, it's like a, we've cordoned off a section and it's got a drain in it for all the affluent because it stinks. So uh, that's where all that goes and it just rots down, biodegrades. And then um, we just scoop out occasionally. So that's that job. So, there we go. The byproducts of leafing. Covered. It's all good. So we're just in a lot of leafing today, but I've just noticed this. So this is another thing we have to tackle. Okay. Okay, these are the crates that the tomatoes go in. But when they arrive, we, there could be germs on them. There could be virus on them. So what we do is we steam them. Tony made a steamer with the help of some friends. <laughs> Here he is. So we take the the shrink wrap off it and we string them and then we load the steamer and we steam them. Hey up Joe. Hey up Joe. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the uh, same shit a bit deeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. Oh there you go. Leafing. Evening. Don't get the staff on camera. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're getting trouble. Well, you have to ask permission, see. So. I know, I know. Um, ha do you need a lift with this? No. You're right. Yes. Okay, so I'll carry on leafing. Yes. Okay. So Friday, we're going <laughs> behind. Probably. Mm. Always. Okay. <laughs> Clock's always ticking, Charles. Well, I've just, I've just said how we, we uh, steam them for virus. Purposes. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Is there any other ways you could get round that, or not really? Steaming's probably the best, isn't 100%, it? Hundred really? percent. That, yeah. You can dip them, but I bet that's a faff. I yeah. don't know. It seems pretty easy when they go in the steamer. Obviously, you pull them out before they sweat, so they they just dry up nice, don't they? Yeah, it works. So, yeah, it works. They drop these off and then they pick up fruit on the way back. There we go, big truck. There should be another one coming. I don't know if it'd be today or another day, but we've got two loads, so there we go. Jack's got two left hands. Here Jack is demonstrating a good leafing technique. This is he's got it's got it down to be honest, this lad. <laughs> Piece of piss. <laughs> leafing is literally just take the leaves off the plant um and repeat, keep going every week. There we go. It's gonna look really good when he's got that last one. You can do it in one swipe. You ready? And then look how beautiful and neat it is now. It, it really is quite a satisfying job because they have a nice snap to them as well. Don't look at the scorch that's turned to botrytis. It's awful. <laughs> Don't look. Wow! Oh my God. Leafing for today is done. Green level six. Not too bad. We're going to set up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he okay? Yeah. Oh, hi. No way. Is it yellow tit, I think? I don't know. Is it? Oh, do we just put outside the... Yeah, should we put it... I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Hey, right, right, right. <laughs> Is it biting you? Oh, no, let me open the door. Yeah, it's 
Yeah, it wants it to wants fly. To I think, yeah, I, I'll take it somewhere safe and let go of it. Oh. It's not very often we get a bird in here. Honestly, we actually don't. Um, so if we do see one, we catch it and it's out. So um, Matty has found it on the floor. So basically what's happened is it's fallen in through the window at the top hit the floor and it can't fly <laughs> it's so cute it's a little tiny baby so um we've just taken it to some garden let it free and hopefully we won't have another incident like that again <laughs> Okay, end of day three of Tomato Fortnight. We've leafed and we've set up. Today was just a lot of leafing, basically, uh, everywhere. All the sites, didn't get a chance to go and see the other site because I was leafing, <laughs> as you can tell. So we'll see you tomorrow, we're picking again tomorrow. So that should be exciting. Bye. <laughs>